Hello, my name is Lissa. Um, I'm the founder of Most Math Science Detective. We produce short animated science mysteries, so we are not a map. I, I feel like I snuck in here, so I don't have a map. Um, but it's a web, it's a short web series. Um, my background is in science education, and when I went into education, I went in thinking, you know, science is at its very core about exploration and discovery, and man, aren't these gonna, kids gonna love it. And when I found out there was a problem with student disengagement, I thought, well, this is ridiculous because science is amazing. So my goal was to show students um, using these animated mysteries um, the thrill of learning. Um, these are using an inquiry model, which means at the end, the students are presented with a question as opposed to an answer. They're six minutes long. Um, we had our first episode come out October 17th, and it explores the background behind uh, type 2 diabetes. So diabetes is a common topic that you'll learn in middle and high school, but you often hear about it from the angle of we have to make sure to eat right, we have to make sure to exercise. Um, and so we take a different approach, and it's a little bit magic school bus where we have our main character, whose name is Melissa Mack. You'll actually notice that on the front page, um, our main character looks a little bit different. That's because we were able to raise some funds and, uh, and redesign her. However, we have our, uh, our main character, who is a powerful female protagonist, and she has a crew behind her, and they are, um, they're commonly called to answer science mysteries in the, in the neighborhood. So I'm just going to show you a little bit, a clip of our first episode. They're six minutes long, designed to be short enough so that they don't interrupt in classroom time, but long enough so that they develop a plot. Um, I'm going to run through the very beginning of this. Um, we have our human character who wakes up in the middle of the night, she's hungry, she eats, she drinks, she can't figure out what's wrong. She calls, she calls trusty most of that science detective who's just hanging out at home. She calls her crew. Uh, her crew is this very skeptical cameraman and elated production assistant. Dennis, um, Billy. So she, you know, she brings her crew to the scene of the crime or the mystery, and she, they immediately head inside the body. They make an initial hypothesis, which is if it has to do with hunger, it must be, we, we should go to the stomach. So they head in. We have this great tool where we're able to use this character flat screen to see sort of an outside perspective and, and toggle in between the outside world and the inside world. She meets some um, esophagus cells, finds out they're hungry too. She heads into the stomach where she meets a very, very tired stomach cell. He's very grumpy, he's complaining, and he says he hasn't eaten in a while. So, um, this is where it's. Muscle in the stomach? Yeah, the wall of the stomach is made of muscle. A muscle cell? You look horrible. Hey. Well, I mean, you look fine, it's just. No, no, you're right. I, I'm so hungry. What's wrong? Normally, you guys are strong, energetic, awesome. You're a muscle for Tootsie. I haven't eaten in ages. You haven't eaten? Jaylene? Did you eat today? Yeah. What did you have? Yogurt, eggs, sausage, pasta, fries, and a burger. This doesn't make any sense. Jaylene ate a ton. Our stuff's are getting any energy. Look, you sound like you're trying to help, and that's cool. But all that stuff she just listed means nothing to me. You're complaining of hunger and you don't want food? It's because of pain. No, it's not that. It's just, I don't eat pasta. I eat glucose. Did you say glucose? No, glucose. <laughs> so we try to use humor to connect with the students, but also as a tool to include some repetition. Glucose? No, it's glucose. And they, they, um, they, we do a little bit of a teaching that way. We include some supplementary materials, um, differentiated so that the teacher can choose class discussion, small group discussion, um, vocabulary cards, and uh, links to some standards. Uh, we have one right now. We have uh, three more in the books coming out uh, pretty soon. And um, that's it. Thank you. Yes, 
Okay, so they go to the stomach, they realize that they need to track down this insulin. They go to the pancreas, uh, they learn about uh, insulin, they go into the bloodstream, and the question that the students are given at the end is, what did most of figure out? So, so it, it's given to the students. The one thing that we feel very strongly about is that every everything the students need to know is in the animation. So at the end, when we use supplementary resources, we very much encourage them to go back into the video. That's one of the reasons why we keep it so short. Is this a paid resource or a free resource? It's free. Right now. <laughs> Are you only exploring health issues? No, um, we are doing all subtopics within science. The first episode is on type 2 diabetes, our second one is on climate change, the third one is on space exploration, and we're going to be filling in those subtopics of science as we go. So you have plans? We've got big plans. Uh, I'm curious how you are like similar to and how you're different from something like Brain Pop, which also uses videos uh, to teach. So um, I would say first and foremost, we're inquiry based. We enter the question. Um, second of all, we have a female pro protagonist, um, and um, I, I would say we use a different model. Lasers? You like some lasers? Mm -hmm. And that's for magic? Go with the classic. If we got lasers out. Hmm. Well, it looks like a five to ten, clearly, with one four drifting down. I see some floaters and a spread. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is around a seven. Solid seven. Is that inside your eyeball, Scott, or is that Just uh, hanging outside. I got blinded by a laser pointer. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>